Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And um, I have Black Friday ha hangover. I had one more Black Friday video that I was going to post, and I just went ahead and dumped it because I'm done. I'm just done with that. Um, it just. I've done nonstop Black Friday for one month, and that's all that anybody should have to do. And for those people who want to go ahead and get those sales, so again, for those people who want to go ahead and get those sales, and they're out there where um, the product hasn't sold because they priced it too high, and now they're taking the price down a little bit more, y'all go there. Please go there. I've done it years past, but this year, just done. I've done one month of it, and that's all there is, and there isn't any more. Um, but if you'd like to know what I did for Black Friday, uh, this was an um, early Black Friday sale, and I got a pack of four layering shirts to go ahead and put on. Um, <clears throat> I did go ahead and pick up the Odin's Eye, um, one of their Christmas palettes, because I missed it last year. And it came in this beautiful box that is like great for gifting and with a little card as well. And so, yeah, we'll be going through that later on in this video. But yeah, I thought that their packaging over at Odin's Eye is like an 11 out of 10. It's just gorgeous packaging over there. And um, I did go ahead and place orders for a whole bunch of products from makeup companies that I haven't tried, mostly indie companies. And a lot of that was going ahead and um, doing, you know, doing my due diligence and my research and all that stuff. And thank you, Angie, for going ahead and doing the indie list. Um, it's on her channel. It's a wonderful list of all the indie makeup companies and what kind of sales that they're doing for Black Friday. So that's something that I would definitely recommend. And other than that, I think we should get started with the makeup and then we'll get back to some more Black Friday mistakes that I made this year. So we're going to get through my hangover. And it really is a Black Friday hangover. It's just, I don't want to go near the computer. I don't want to go to another sale. I went to a couple of sales in person on Black Friday. And no, that's just, we're done. So uh, Glow Oil is what I have on as my primer. And this has the SPF of 50 in it. So, um, and it's by Super Goop, and I'm about close to halfway through it, and I've had it for about six months, so I'm only using it on my face, and I think it's going to last about a year. <clears throat> as far as what else I have on, um, I have the Super Serum by Relove Revolution. This is available over at Walmart. I really like the finish on this particular foundation. Everything from Relove Revolution is $5 and less. So if you've spent all your money on Black Friday, but you still need some staples, uh, this is, and you're not going to spend very much on them, this is a good, a good line to go to to do some of that. As far as what I did on the face, I went ahead and started with the ColourPop Sunset Strip. And I'm liking this formula a lot. Um, it's a cream formula. And then I went ahead and added the ColourPop uh, Just Cruising in this powder on top of it. And they work really well together. And then as far as highlighter, I used the Wet n Wild Alice in Wonderland. This is a really good collection. Um, I think it it came at the beginning of the holidays and then just sort of disappeared. But if you want or you are still looking for a gift for somebody, um, this whole collection is really cute. And it's off of the Disney Alice in Wonderland. And uh, so this is their highlighter pan. And it's what I have on as a highlighter today. And Wet n Wild does a lot of really good products, face products, highlighters, or um, 
blushes and highlighters they do really well and their lip glosses are really nice as well and then as far as what I did on the lips today I actually did the melted mattes uh, my type and then I put the tower 28 um, this is the pistachio on top of it I'm pretty sure it's pistachio but I can't tell without my glasses so it'll be in the box down there and then as far as what I did for the eyes uh, once Odin's eyes said that they were re-releasing the Christmas palette or both their Christmas palettes from last year I missed them so I picked them up and um, I have a actually I only picked up one of them but gorgeous packaging and this is the uh, Christmas Eve palette and so this is the way the palette looks it's what I have on my eyes today I used uh, this in my crease and then I went ahead and used this one in the outer corner this one on the lid um, I went ahead and put this right on the brow bone and I went ahead and used a couple of the Emride eyeliners to go along with it. This way that the look came out. And this formula is absolutely gorgeous. It does have some micro glitters in it. And so for folks who uh, don't necessarily like having some glitter here, there, and everywhere, um, I'm not sure if this is going to work with this formula, but if you just take a finger and pat some of the um, glitter on, then either that or glitter glue. And um, I don't really have any glitter glue because I don't mind it being, you know, here, there, and everywhere. So, yeah, Gorgeous Palette has a couple of holic or uh, multi-chrome shades in it and just like everybody says it's a beautiful formula and as far as um, I've worn it three or four times getting the micro glitters off at night do a double cleanse and that should do it um, again it doesn't really bother me that they're there but you know if you really really don't like it then I would say a double cleanse will probably get rid of any extra micro glitter for you and to move on to some of my oopses some of the reason why I have a Black Friday hangover see these things they're great for palettes you can store your palettes in them and therefore you can see what you have and they're not in some drawer somewhere and these I think these originally were like CD cases or DVD cases and they just um, I think I got over a 10 year I picked up like eight of these by accident I I needed some more I knew that I had two on order but for some reason I ended up ordering like eight of these and I don't need eight of these right now I will probably keep them and use them at some point but Black Friday causes you to do weird things and so that was one of the weird things that happened on Black Friday um, but I am really glad that I picked up this palette it is gorgeous I actually put in another order during Black Friday for some more Odin's Eye and it's really good formula um, it's different than some of the other formulas like I said the micro glitter in there I wasn't expecting but I'm really happy that it's in there and I think it really took it to another level um, you can very definitely go ahead and do some go on ahead and um, uh, doing some toppers with some of the glitter shades which you can't necessarily do with all kinds of formulas but I think I'll take some of this and put a little bit more of this in the crease because I did go ahead and use this silver as a topper and it kind of took this shade down a lot so let's see what we got here and yeah, that deepens it up a little bit so again I did have this shade on but like I said I used the silver as a topper and it just went ahead and took some of the blue down so now we have a really blue deep blue look 
and yeah, I love it. So um, really glad that I picked this up and definitely would recommend as so many other people have recommended this beautiful formula. And um, yeah, other than that, like I said, I'm not going near the computer. I'm not going to any more sales. I'm just, and I know they're out there and um, if it works for you, then great. I'm just, like I said, I have a hangover and I have to stop. So um, <clears throat> I hope that you're having a wonderful holiday and I'll see you later and uh, bye.